not available. It's lit. Give that some air. three times ever since he yep. changed the air. That was it. That was the one thing he changed was air. <laughs> Dad. Give that fucking thing some air before you fucking yeah. blow the whole thing up. Watch it. We're on YouTube. That's <laughs> alright. Now you, gotta, now you gotta tell him you have to be 18 to watch this one. Open that thing up for him. What? Now, now you gotta tell him you have to be 18 or older to watch this. Got an air leak or something? That's somewhere? what I'm almost thinking. I'm almost thinking a um, oxygen gas mixture is getting through those lines. <laughs> you would. It'd blow in there. It probably is. You see smoke coming out of that thing when it goes off. It's just caused because you shut that, you shut that valve, and then you open it back up, and it probably still, you know, it's still feeding all the oh, yeah, more yeah. air through the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah, that's what it Once seems that like. Gets right? in, I think when that thing's clear, that's where you yeah. want it. You just need to leave it open. So it's not burning through wood that quick, so you can stay, stay going a lot longer that time. Yeah. You keep pushing it yeah. like this, not even lit, lit, it will still get that air out. Mm -hmm. Some good riding trails, man. If you ever out with your buddies, take a ride up to Richmond, New Hampshire. Richmond up there? Yep. Yeah. It's called Little Monadnock Riding Trails. 80 miles of trails. All go up power lines. They like snake all through the power lines. 80 miles. Of yep. Trails. It's right off of. How um, can any one person ride all that? You gotta, like, live there. We rode like 40 something miles in one day. Yeah. Sure, that, you were whooped after that. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. It's some rough riding too. Yeah. But um, that's orange. That's that stainless, I just pushed a wall of stainless steel down in there. Yeah, it's, it's just burning then. Yeah, it's one, um, 119, I think. You take 13 and Townsend, you take a right, and I think it's 119 and it goes through like, um, Be all out that way. Okay, so um, I think it's 119, that's 117. That's kind of close to Manchester then. Because I've gotten to Ashby once on a ride with my buddy Randy. No, Ashby is next to Pepperell Townsend. Mason. Fuck, that was a good ride. Yeah, if you follow it all the way out. I definitely got to Ashby when we slept on a Manchester ride. Yeah, if you follow it all the way out, just stay on that road all the way. Yeah. Until you get into Richmond and see Fish, Hat Fish Hatchery Road. Yep. And just jump on that road and it'll bring you right to the trailhead. Yep. yep. Oh, Jesus, it's closed. Hey, hey. Yeah, open it. I don't know. It closed and...
don't know, I just get sketched out as soon as you close that. Mm -hmm. Once you closed it, man, that's when all the problems started happening. Pipes get pretty hot. That may have cured the backfire though. Yeah. Dumping air back into the. I think it was it had everything to do with that yeah, air. Yeah, ever since you closed that thing, that's when it seemed like they started having all the issues. Yep. And when you opened it the last time, you opened it all the way up. It went the longest before it did it again. So. All right. Even if it's wide open like that, it's still not, it's not it's burning gonna take all, that It's quick. only going to take right. as much no, as they can they're, use. They're, they're actually a pretty slow burning, yeah. really intense in a small area, yep. but it's, uh, it's uh, it goes a long time. With... Oh, we moved our chopstick. I think that's only, oh shit, you blew that right off. Um, yeah, it's starting to clean up a little better now. Yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. No, I think that stainless steel had uh, stuff on it. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can't. You're not going to cut stainless steel with no kind of cutting oil on it. Right. There's no way. Yeah, it's starting to get a lot better now. Yeah. You can't see it behind the cardboard. No. You can see it really good behind the red. Yeah. It's not a real hot, hot flame. Is that cardboard wet? No. Pretty dry. It's pretty humid out though, so. Yeah. I would be kind of curious to know how hot that is though. Enough to run your Honda. Probably. You need one of those digital, uh, digital laser thermometers, man. Yeah. 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 I'm going to be getting one pretty good. Pick one of those up at cheap man, or one of the cooking stores or something like that. Yeah. I'm going to be getting a real good one for HVAC anyway. Yeah. Because they go around all the lines and stuff checking. Because if you have like temperature differences on your lines, that's when you know you have a restriction in your line. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and they like, and those guys, they buy, they buy like the best of the best ones they can get. So I got to clean a little trailer out. now. Something kind of lower to the ground so we don't have the pipe. But that thing, you can take it apart and put it together so quick. Want a snowmobile trailer? You need a trailer? Want a snowmobile trailer? I could use a trailer for anything. I can pick it up. It's in my yard. It's all yours. You done with it? Probably, yeah. I have two trailers already. I got a cargo trailer and another one. So it's just sitting there. You know, it probably needs a We're couple cool. lights and maybe a couple new tires. It's been yeah. sitting for a little while. But other than that, Is that it's right? good to go. Yeah. And they're low. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a caravan.